In 1972, a pair of unyielding rebels would become the first African Americans to play football for the Red and Blue, etching a legacy that lasts to this day. Well, I would hope that people would see it as a sign that uh, we've certainly moved way beyond what people outside of our family may view us as. And, uh, you know, whether or not they always do, I don't know, but we know in our heart of hearts we have. And I think that's just one more way that uh, we can point to and say, look, we thought so much of these guys and the, and the trailblazers they were here at the University of Mississippi that it was important to us to name that after them. Well, James Reed and Ben Williams, the first two African-American players to ever play here, I had a chance to meet both of them. And uh, they're class A guys, and I was able to interact with them on, on different levels. Just to know that where it started from, and me being African-American myself, maybe if it wasn't in front of heroic acts that they, that they endured, then I wouldn't probably be here right now. So um, I never want to take that for granted. For me, to be mentioned here today in the same breath as legendary Ole Miss Rebel greats Archie Manning and Robert Jerry, General Ben Williams, my friend, former roommate, for me is unthinkable. You know, I had the chance to meet both of them when they had the dedication and, uh, you know, it always just impresses me. Any, anytime somebody um, is a trailblazer, you know, in any avenue, you know, obviously from a minority perspective and what they went through to, to make the options so possible for our guys that, that make up the majority of our team right now um, is awesome. Being from the, the North and the Midwest, you know, you have a perception about the South of certain things and, and uh, you know, you, you're here and you realize that, you know, it's a special place, you know, to know what those guys established and, and what they created and the opportunities they created for a lot of our players now is, is special. So it's neat that our university, you know, recognizes that. Having my friends, you know, as, as the people of Ole Miss have, have bestowed on me over life. That's friendship, you know, speaking good on me, not worrying about what color I was. You know, they've been real kind and pleasant to me. It was a great day when I came to Ole Miss to become a rebel, play football here at Ole Miss. When we bring those parents on, uh, we get those parents on campus and they get a chance to interact with with the players, we take them through campus, they interact with the other students on campus, and they realize that this is, uh, is, is nothing like it, like it was. Nah, we ain't gonna go to Ole Miss. That was my first stop. You know, um, took a trip up here, and uh, when I left, I knew, like, yeah, that's where I'm going. That's why I tell people all the time, if you don't wanna go to Ole Miss, don't take a visit. I can say the University of Mississippi changed my life, you know, as an African American. Without those guys, I wouldn't have had the opportunity that I had. And, and so I have the greatest respect for those guys because uh, they, they led the way and, and opened doors that weren't open to African Americans at the time. And, and I couldn't imagine everything they probably had to go through, but I just want to tell them thank you. 30, 40, 50 years ago, it wasn't like this. Somebody had to take those blows. And for me to now be here, and uh, along with a lot of our teammates, black, white, Hispanic, the, the color doesn't matter now. We all come from different states, cities, and backgrounds. But when you all come together, you put all that together, that's what makes football one of the greatest team sports ever. Because now it's not looking at your, your, your background, but now it's just looking at the individuals and seeing how good we can come together and achieve one goal, and that's to win.